This is a great example of how we can use stoichiometry. Very, very practical. We're going to do quantitative analysis of a mixture. So the mixture is going to be some sample that has a number of different compounds in it. The question that you'll be asked is, was the percent mass of one particular compound in that entire mixture? So it's really some impure sample, and you want to find out how much of one compound is inside of that. We're going to use stoichiometry to do it. Um, so this is what we're given. We are going to have a sample, and they won't say mixture, they're not going to say impure, um, but you have to read the inferences to realize, oh, this is not a pure sample. They say that there's a sample containing a titanium four oxide, forgot my subscript two there, um, containing a titanium four oxide, and the sample size is 2.367 grams. And then it asks, what's the mass percent of titanium oxide in that sample. So oh, reading that, I go, oh, this must not be a pure sample. And I want to know just the amount of the titanium oxide inside of this. Now, they gave us the formula. Here is our chemical equation. We're going to have this titanium four oxide and you react it with a bromine trifluoride. Um, as a side note, titanium four oxide is, a, um, is important in industry. It's a compound that's used in the industry. And to um, check purity, you can add the bromine trifluoride to it and you get this really cool reaction. It's going to produce the titanium four fluoride, bromine, which is the liquid, and then here's the quantitative part of it, oxygen, that's gas. So uh, we would know the mass that we begin with and the mass that we end with. That gas is going to evolve, it's going to leave the container, and that difference tells us from what we began with to what we end with, it tells us the mass of the oxygen. So they do this experiment and they tell us that the oxygen is 0.143 grams. Now follow the oxygen. All of that oxygen came from the titanium four oxide. So that means I, if I know how much oxygen there is here, I know exactly how much oxygen we began with, which means I, I will know how much um, titanium four oxide we have. So we're going to do stoichiometry from oxygen back to that titanium four to see how much was in the sample. Now I want you to have this visual. They would take the whole sample, okay? The whole mixture, okay? That impure sample. They would pour the uh, bromine trifluoride on it and that will only react with the titanium four oxide. So we know all the oxygen just came from this titanium four and all the other compounds that are in this sample right here, they're just not going to do anything. So we can isolate exactly, um, ultimately, how much oxygen there was that came from just that titanium four oxide. So that's the thought process that you're going through of a mixture, you're trying to identify the amount of one, of one compound. So you um, pour, you do some reaction that just that compound will react with and you're able to quantify the products. That's how you do um, quantitative analysis of a mixture. That's the principle, the lab principle behind it. Okay, strike, here we go. So I'm going to begin with what I'm given. That is the 0.43 grams, excuse me, 143 grams of oxygen. Um, I've got to walk the bridge from one compound to another using the molar ratio, which means I have to bring this to moles, put grams of oxygen in the denominator. Uh, two times 16 is 32, and we've got a one mole of oxygen for that mass. Um, grams of oxygen canceled, now we can walk the bridge from oxygen to the titanium oxide. I wanna get rid of moles of oxygen, so I put that in the denominator so it cancels. Moles of oxygen, and then I want moles of that titanium four oxide. Okay, three moles of the oxygen came from three moles of that titanium uh, four oxide. Now, we want to know the amount, the mass. So we're going to bring this from moles to grams. Notice moles of oxygen beautifully cancel. It's kind of gratifying getting to cross those off. I like it. Um, so mole of titanium four oxide, one mole, is going to be 79.88 grams. And that's just doing molar masses from the periodic table of titanium oxide. Moles cancel. Okay, so if we do our math, 0.143 divided by 32 times 3 divided 
um, by 3 times 79.88, we are going to get 0.357, put it here, 0.357 grams of titanium 4 oxide. Okay, so picture this again. You have some sample. We know that there's some titanium 4 oxide inside of it. We add to this sample the bromine trifluoride and just the titanium 4 oxide reacts produces this oxygen, you get that amount, and by doing this stoichiometry, going backwards, if you will, figure it out that that oxygen, all from the titanium oxide, um, it tells us that inside the sample was 0.357 grams of the titanium four oxide. That's pretty cool. Uh, now, the question was right here, what is the mass percent of that titanium four oxide? Well, this is the mass of the whole sample, that mixture. This is the mass of just the titanium four oxide. So all we have to do is divide it now. 0.357 divided by 2.367 grams. We're going to multiply it by 100 to get a percent. And that comes out to be 15.1% of titanium four oxide inside of that sample. All right, good luck, thanks.